Hey, welcome to my guide on how to beat Ibis. Jumping right in, use a quick boost, then your melee attack, and you'll get some free damage. Sometimes you'll even get a free stagger off if your follow-up attacks hit. When Ibis uses this big missile attack, you can usually land a free hit on her as well. A lot of times in this fight though, Ibis makes it look like there's no ping, and there's actually not, especially if you use a melee weapon, she's just going to bait you. Especially with melee attacks, she'll act like there's no ping and there's not. Also, for this laser, at the end, there's always an opening, so feel free to go for that. Hopefully a better aim than me though. And for the big laser that's about to come up, I find dashing to the left works a little bit more frequently, but sometimes she just fucking tracks you and it doesn't matter. Maybe it's best to sort of go to the right then left, I don't know if I sort of juked her a little bit there. And if you play your cards right for this little animation, you can do a quick melee attack. That one's pretty difficult to time though if I'm being honest, and for this next diving melee attack, you can do two things. You can use a melee attack at the right time to cancel theirs before they hit you, but that's risky. Or you can just dodge it and follow up with your missiles. I realize missiles probably aren't ideal for fighting Ibis because she moves so fucking much, but I'm stubborn. And that concludes all my tips for phase one, but don't relax yet. As soon as Ibis finally goes down after this last fucking one health, we're immediately gonna sp super boost or whatever the fuck it's called towards one of the walls. I think the wall where you came from is actually a bit closer than the one I choose, but whatever wall you decide to go to, we're gonna rush off into the distance. I'm gonna play this part on two times speed because let's be honest, you don't gain anything from watching me dash off into the distance. All right, and once you reach the boundary or get close to it, you're gonna turn around and Ibis should be well on her way after you. She's going to be rushing at you like a fucking crackhead. It's hard to see her here, but what she's doing is going for a melee attack, so when she gets close enough to lock onto, you'll do a little dash, and you get another free melee attack just like in the beginning. This one, if you follow up immediately with missiles, you will guarantee you get a stagger. Maybe not guarantee, I don't know, but it's very likely you'll get the free stagger, and I've dealt up to half her health bar this way, so it can be a huge, huge bonus. That's the first reason why I wanted you to dash away. The second is because when the boundary is nearby for Ibis and a lot of bosses, they sort of get tripped up on it. It messes up their movement system. It makes it a lot easier to hit them with melee. I fucked up and got hit by her Radon copy ability right there and then lost track of her. But using this setup and these tips, I still managed to get the win. Next, I'll be going over the gear and OST tuning setups that I have, just in case anyone's interested, but if not, good luck, let me know in the comments if it helped. Alright, so on the right hand I have the Alpha Bazooka, and I like this one a lot. On the left hand I have the VVC Melee, or Laser Sword I guess I should call it. On both my back shoulders I just have the Songbirds. I haven't looked through the gear I have for the body in a while, so feel free to make any adjustments you want, but this is what I currently use for that setup. It gives a good amount of health, so I like it. As for the booster, I still like this one for the quick boost, the uh, P04. I'm still using this one, I'm just now noticing I have a new one that I haven't even taken a look at. I'm noticing that for a lot of gear actually, but this is the generator that I use. There are definitely better gear guides out there, but and this is the terminal armor that I use, which I highly recommend. It saved me at the end. All right, now on to OS tuning. I got the boost kick with my leftover point. I am fucking terrible with it, but I skipped over most of this until I get down to the terminal armor. I haven't tried most of the other armors, so if it's better, let me know. But I like that one. I also love this extra explosive damage, as well as this extra melee damage and extra direct hit damage. These add up a lot, and I like this damage reduction, as well as the repair kit optimization. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope it helped. Subscribe for more, and have a good one.